and then we go back another fucking video back on here. So yeah, it's uh, time to Hell's Heroes again. They uh already uh, announced the uh, lineup for uh, next uh next year. What date is it? Uh, May something? I don't even remember. Uh, yeah, oh March, March twenty second or March twentieth through twenty second. White Oak Music Hall, Houston, Texas, the same place that we last year. Drinking black coffee. Twilight Zone, one of the greatest movie or greatest TV shows of all time. The original one, not the re not the uh, other series that crap. The original one. Anyway, so uh. Yeah, so this lineup, I, I was excited about it. last year. I went to all three days, and I thought, yeah, I'm not yeah, I'm just going to go to one. However, however, this lineup, man, <laughs> there's a lot of good shit going on, and I mo may end, end up going to all three days again because it's pretty stacked as far as stuff that I want to see. Um, real quick, before I get onto that, you know, this YouTube channel is mainly talk to, talking about the music and other bands. But we do have our band, Two More Than Red. I don't talk about it a lot on here, I, but from time to time when stuff is coming up, uh, our band, More Than Red, has a new full length or a debut full length coming out probably at the end of this month. It's done uh, through Goat Throne Records. So that's. I'll be talking more about that, promote that later in a separate video. We have the shows coming up in uh, October, Texas tour. Uh, San Antonio, October 11th, Fort Worth, Dallas, October 12th, and then October 13th in Houston, and then we got another show in, uh, shows in November, I fucked the day, the months on the other video, this one, then New Jersey and New York, those are in November, I think November 5th, 15th and 16th, or something like that, I can't remember, whatever date that is, 15th and 16th, uh, there's a Friday in uh, New Jersey and Saturday in, in uh, New York. But once we get all that information together, we'll put more details about that. But anyway, let's get on with this talking about Hell's Heroes. So, uh, yeah, looking at this flyer. All right, so automatically off the bat, for me, Saxon is a big deal. Plus, it's the Eagle has landed set. So right there, tickled my fancy, if you will. So I, I, I got to see Saxon. I, I've always loved Saxon. I've always loved New England British Heavy Metal. And the early Saxon albums are pretty good. Even the, a lot of the 90s albums, I like them as well. Just a good, hard rock and heavy metal sound. It's classic. And then Biff Biper, whatever the hell his name is, great vocals. So I have to go to see that. And then Aboth is playing as well, which the Sins are doing an immortal classic set. So... Hey, that has got to be good. I mean, because I never, unfortunately, I never saw Immortal. I remember a few years back, I, I don't know, maybe it was eight to ten years. I don't remember. Immortal played in uh, San Antonio. My dumb ass didn't go. I wish I would have. But now, Aboth is playing it. And I do like the Aboth, Aboth albums, especially the first one. I think it's pretty good. Some people may cry. It's not a real black man. I'm... I guess I don't like real black metal, then. I think it's pretty damn good, the first uh, boss, but since they're doing a Immortal Classic set, so, yeah, you got me on that. That's got to be good. I, I love old Immortal. So, uh, over here, Crimson Glory, I, I, that's another name. I don't really know that band, so I don't, can't really talk about it, say much. Somebody's probably thinking, oh, man, you don't know them? It's a great band. Well, they probably are. I'll, I'll check them out. It's just so many bands, it's hard to keep up with. So. Oh, now the Cavalera Third World Trilogy, the first three album set. Now, that too, I want to see. I don't give a crap about anything, all that uh, Earth AD, or not Earth AD. <laughs> I'm thinking about the Misfits, Chaos AD, and all that crap after that. I don't care. That's all trash to me. But they're playing the first off the first three albums. Man, that's got to be good. So I, I definitely have to see that. Then Semiel. Great stuff, especially they're playing Blood Ritual and Ceremony of the Opposites. That's great, because the last time I saw uh, Samael, it was with Cathedral and somebody else. I can't remember. But Cathedral Cathedral was really good, but Samael was playing a lot of that modern crap that I don't really care about, so it was, eh, wasn't so much into that. And then we got Warlord here. Classic uh, Ca Californian heavy metal band. They've been around for years, and they've been putting out albums... 
I mean, a shitload of records, albums on good classic, just heavy metal stuff. That's gonna be cool. I mean, for me, it's not like I have to see it, but it's still gonna be cool to see them live. It's also interesting too. San Antonio Slayer has been getting some uh, hoopla here lately. I've been hearing more and more. I guess they've been playing shows and stuff. So it'll actually be cool because I never saw them in the first uh, incarnation of the band. I don't know. Have they been back playing shows for a long time? I, I don't know. But I think it's a good solo thrash band, you know. I, I know they did play a show with Slayer, Slayer, and San Antonio Slayer, so it'll be cool to see them. And uh, Sadus, now that's going to be good. Hopefully they're playing some of the early stuff, because that's great, just screechy vocal thrash, excellent stuff. Uh, Exciter, everybody knows I love Exciter. Great uh, heavy metal stuff. And uh, next, DRI. People are texting me, stop it! DRI, I, I've seen DRI a lot, many, many times, but they're going to do a thrash zone dealing with it set, so that should be cool. Uh, it's not mandatory for me. It's not because I don't like it. I love DRI, but it's just I've seen them so many times. Uh, Primordial, which should be interesting, too. I'm not like a huge Primordial fan, but uh, it, it should be pretty good. I, I think it'll be good. It's, uh, you know, the uh, Irish uh, folk black metal-ish bands. I think it'll be pretty cool live. Corner, that'll be cool. Again, it's one of those classic bands that I kind of uh, put in the same category as uh, Voivod. I like them, but they, they just never really did nothing for me. But but it'll be cool to see them live. Enforcer, also good stuff. Good uh, heavy metal. Now, Hyderax, that's going to be cool. I have uh, actually, I've never seen them live either. You would think I've listened to them for years and years, but I've never seen them. So that's going to be cool seeing Hyderax, classic thrash and absolute. I've uh, seen Absu before, but this will be cool uh, doing the, uh, some of the doing some old sets here, which will be will be cool. I mean, I, I do like Absu onslaught, excellent stuff, good uh, metal, and uh, John Christ. I don't know what's going on with that. Was he gonna play Danzig stuff or something? Not sure what's uh, what's going on with that. I mean, I like Danzig, so I mean, I don't know. Anybody knows what the hell he's going to be doing? Let me know in the comments. I, I don't know. That, that sounds so cliche. Let me know in the comments. Like and subscribe. Let me suck my... It's fucking stupid shit. Um, Gamicide. Great thrash. If anybody hasn't heard Gamicide, that's some solid thrash. Solid thrash metal right there. It's be good. Also, this is really cool here. Nasty Savage. Check that out, man can't beat that and speaking of nasty savage i'm probably gonna be doing an interview with the rasty and rasty, nasty ronnie here coming up soon so uh get to talk about smashing tv bats and hitting people over the head with baseball bats and stuff so that's coming in the future um goat whore i've seen him a lot i love goat whore but seen him a lot uh, it's not mandatory for me again not because it's not a good band i just seen him so many times sadistic intent now Whatever day they're playing, I am there. I that is that right there. Honestly, sadistic intent, the Cavalera, Saxon, and Sadist, that's like the main things that I want to see on here. So sadistic intent, I'm there. Raven also, I love Raven. I'm gonna be there. Now down here, some of this stuff uh I don't know. And you can call me, hey, you call me a poser. I don't know, whatever. Fifth Angel, I don't know. Attacker, I don't know, but Departure Chandelier, yes, I want to see this, even though lo their logo is, you see it, you know what it is, but it kind of looks kind of shitty, but they are some good black metal, really good black metal, so I, I, I'm i looking forward to that, uh, Blood Ceremony, I, I don't know, I know my other friends that are going, they listen to a lot of these bands, and they, they could give you a better, uh, update on that I, I a lot of these other ones down here i don't know i know the names uh night eternal savage master haunt solicitor hour 13 overdose oh is it overdose from brazil <laughs> probably not bewitcher castle rat night, i know night cobra that's good stuff chamber mage night gallo white magician hidden yeah, okay, so, uh, oh, actually, right here, Z Zimial, it, that, that's the uh, Greece, Greek black metal band. That'll be good. I saw them before, many years ago, in up in San Antonio. Again, it was a metal fest. Them and Sinai and uh, Black Witchery and Midnight all played on that. It was a really good deal, and Zimial 
played last, and they really good Greek black metal. So that'll be good. So uh, overall, looks like a, a damn good uh, lineup, and also be interesting to see what the pre-show other shows are going to be as well. But yeah, hey, if you watch the videos from the other past two years, we always went there and had a good time, partied it up, and last year we were lucky. We had a uh, Airbnb right down the road from the venue. Well, this year, no, people already bought that shit up already, so... Uh, we were staying at a friend of ours house that is close, but it's not walking distance, so we can't be walking back and drinking bottles of Jack Daniels and coming back to the damn shows. It sucks, but I don't know, last year, our house, or our Airbnb turned into the party house where everybody just kept showing up, and the random people, I didn't even know who the hell they were, were in there making drinks and shit. So, you're welcome! But anyway, yeah, so, more about that, um, we're looking forward to this, so... This is the preview. It's funny how this show, I remember the very first one, I didn't even go to it. I just for that's all right. But it really has turned into a uh, one of the best fests in the United States. It's kind of a destination event where people come from all over. So, yeah, it's going to be good. Looking forward to it. And uh, more stuff coming up on here. I'm going to go get back in the Twilight Zone.